by the early Greek solid rendering specialist at Autodesk. And just we'll go through how to create some of these noise patterns using a combination of the cell noise shader and the noise shader. If you want to follow along, there's this written tutorial and there's a link to the scene file here. Okay, so I've got a polygon plane set up here. I'm just going to sign a new flat surface shader so we don't have to worry about any lighting. And I'm going to connect an Arnold noise shader here. And then increase the octaves. And what we could do is you can add a, another shader to, to P here. So I'm going to add a cell shader, cell noise shader here. Have you noticed when we disable additive, we get this interesting pattern? I'm going to increase the scale. Get more iterations. We go back to the noise shader, change the mode to vector, get some interesting colors now. Change randomness, palette color, so on. Also keyframe the time attribute to get an interesting trippy animation. Let's try changing the pattern type, something like whirly. Can enable additive and increase the number of octaves. Now if we reduce the randomness, we get something like this. And again, change the colors, maybe animate the lacunarity, get some weird psychedelic effects. Maybe we'll change it to something like cell noise. Can animate the effect to get kind of a glitch glitch type effect. Quite fun to play around with. Also add a texture map or ramp to the color. Let's try a, a ramp RGB. See how the effect is having on the cell noise. Okay, so back to the flat shade. I'm just going to connect to cell noise directly here now. And I'm going to change the pattern to cell one and increase the scale. If you reduce the randomness, we get some nice square tiles. I'll reduce the density for now. And let's add a, an image shader to the color. Open up an image file. Now when we increase the density, you can see the image connected to the color. Disable additive, maybe increase the octaves. Can we just keyframe that to get some uh, get an interesting effect? Okay, so that's how to use the cell noise to create some different patterns in Arnold. Thanks for watching. Bye.